Yeah, good day everyone. You welcome to GST 201 class. We are supposed to meet face to face, but I kind of decided to blend the teaching. We are going to have face to face, but we are going to have it with the blend of pre recorded lectures just like you're having it here then we will have it with a blend of virtual class as well so that if at any point in time we have someone that couldn't attend the class at least you have a video to go through if you do not have the video to go through at least you should be able to join virtual class so in a way it will give us multiple ways of relating with ourselves on the content okay as you know, the course is GST 201 for 200 level, and the title is Entrepreneurship and Product Development. Now, when we're talking about product, it doesn't imply a good. It doesn't imply um, it doesn't imply a, a unit of or a product. It basically imply anything that has an economic value. Okay, for example, if you have a skill that you could monetize, such a skill has become a product, okay, because it has economic value. Now, talking about entrepreneurship, now relating it to product development, so it basically implies that your capacity as an entrepreneur to creatively and innovatively come up with something that will have economic value. Now, everything that goes into it as regards you being the entrepreneur, the process itself being the entrepreneurship, and the product that comes out of it being the economic uh, benefits. Okay, that's what this course is all about, okay? And under the course, there are quite a number of topics we are to examine, but we'll be picking them one at a time. Okay, there is no way we can talk about the course without having a breakdown of what ex exactly it stands for, okay? An entrepreneurship definitely as as a component who an entrepreneur is, because when you are talking about entrepreneurship, definitely we must talk about who is an entrepreneur, yeah. If we are talking about entrepreneur, it has to be some it has to do with someone that combines other factors of production optimize other factors of production to come up with something that could have economic value. It's, it's, it has to, to do with somebody that identifies an opportunity, okay? After identifying the opportunity, you were able to, to go through the opportunity, come up with something creative out of the opportunity, then you were able to, to develop the opportunity, sell the idea now, sell the invention, sell the innovation, and have some economic product, have some economic feedback to yourself, okay? If, for example, there is a problem, like the last, I think the last two attempts we've had, we've made to join virtual classes, I realized that some students, so let me see, majority of students couldn't join, and why? They have several reasons. Some will tell you it's because of data. Some will tell you it's because of the uh, battery. Some will tell you I do not have internet enabled device and all that. You know, those are problems, right? But as an entrepreneur, you look at the problems and you see opportunities in the problem, right? So in that sense, as an entrepreneur, you can ask yourself, okay, now GST 201 class, we're supposed to have it, but quite a number of students were unable to have it. And why? Because they could not do this, because they could not do this. Okay, how can I come into play and make something, make ends meet for myself from there? Okay? We're just using that as an illustration anyway. So now you now come up with an idea that, okay, I'm going to have a stand, right? And that stand, I will have a projector. The projector would face a particular board, okay? Then I will connect to the lecturer, wherever he is. Then, instead of each student connecting online, everyone will have a seat. They will all sit down. Then, it will not be like a projection room. Everybody sits down. But before you can sit down, I will take from each person only 50 naira, right? For that lecture, from beginning to the end. Now, let's look at it this way. Before you could 
achieve that, if that's an opportunity you've been able to see, right? An innovation you've been able to bring into play. Now, before you could, before you could come up with that, you will need internet subscription, right? You will need the projector and you will need the standing board. Okay, then you may need some chairs for students. Now you put all other factors in place. In getting the chairs, you will need some laborers. In getting this, you will need some money that will be in the capital. You will need location, being the land and all that. So you harness all of those things just to make sure that this idea that you have, you're able to birth them, right? Now, after you've been able to do that, each student, instead of them going online, number one, if they are to go online, they will need data, they will need to charge their phone, and when they try to quantify all of those things, definitely it will be more than 50 naira. Then they can easily say, let's give this guy 50 naira and sit down. Now, in a class of, let's say, 100 people, now let's multiply 100 by 50. How much is the guy going to make? Okay? Now, when a guy looks at how much will come into him, then he looks at how much will he actually take me to establish this innovation. Then if, he, there, if there is a benefit coming in for him, then he, he, has, he has been able to establish for himself a business. Now, such an individual is called an entrepreneur, right? Because he was able to identify a solution. He was able to identify an opportunity where there is a chaos, where there is a problem, right? And that in achieving that, he, he has to bring on board, optimize every other um, factors of production, optimize them so as to be able to carry out a particular service. So that service he has been, he was able to carry out is what is called product, right? Now, when we are talking about entrepreneurship, that one has to do with now the process of achieving what you intend to do. Now, your process of identifying the problem, one, your, the, the process of you creating the opportunity in that problem, that's two. Now, the, 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 the process of you now exploiting that problem, to your advantage, those are the processes that we call entrepreneurship, right? So, going by the material, it has to do with the process of identifying, creating, and pushing opportunities. The process of identifying, creating, and pushing opportunities. And not just that, to make sure that you were able to make something out of it. It is not all about conceiving it at, at alone. You must conceive it and birth the idea. It's just like somebody that, that, that has pregnancy. You must be able to go through the nine months of pregnancy, then give birth to a child before they will say that, yeah, you had a successful journey, right? Now, before you can say that I'm a graduate, you must be able to, you must be able to go through the process of studentship. Register your courses, pay school fees, attend lectures. After attending lectures, you do exam, you write exam, you write your test, then you get promoted from one, two, three, four, four hundred level. Then at the end of the day, you come up with a certificate, then you can see that. Yeah, I am a graduate. Okay, now that certificate that you have in your hand is a product, but the processes of you going through the school is what is called entrepreneurship. You understand? In quotes now. So relating that to business, you now you know you have what we call an entrepreneur, and you have what we call an entrepreneurship. Okay, now in 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 in, in continuity, yeah, in continuation, we have entrepreneurs. They play a Co a, a co uh, they, they play a coordinating role in optimizing factors of production. You know, we talked about other factors of production, like, you know, the factors of production, land, labor, capital, and entrepreneur, right? An entrepreneur is just an aspect of part factors of production. So an entrepreneur now stands as the umpire now that controls every other one. You optimize them so as to have an economy value on any idea that you have. So it's, it is very cognizant, it's very, it is very uh, expected of an entrepreneur that you should be able to control other factors of production. If you have an idea, you must be able to sit down, analyze what am I going to need to actualize this idea. Okay, I will need this, I will need this, I will need this. So the process of you penning it down, the process of you going one, going after them one at a time, the process of you now actualizing it is what we call an entrepreneurship. Now, an entrepreneurship also, it is primarily viewed as an ideology, not solely dependent on skills acquisition. That, that I think I think it was 300 level I was taking up. Now it is entrepreneurship is not about skill. Okay, we are not talking about your capacity now to sell pure water, your capacity to to be a mechanic. That may not make you an entrepreneur, right? It's not. It is more much. It's a lot more than skill acquisition. We are not talking about 
Uche, that is in the chair, so to say, with Ogalbina, learning how to save parts. It's just skill the guy is trying to acquire there. Entrepreneurship goes beyond that. You understand? It goes beyond because, you know, we said that you identify a problem, then you, you go all out to explore, to see if there are opportunities in the problem. If there are opportunity within the problem, then you explore the opportunity. So that's those processes, they, they are quite more than you. Um, um, which I'm learning under uh, my Oga Obina. So he's teaching me how to spear, to sell spear parts, right? So it is much more than skill acquisition. It's an ideology, right? You conceive it. People are sitting down, having a challenge, but you are sitting down looking at the challenge and looking at what could be the solution to the challenge. An instance is um, uh, a park here where students usually join bus to wherever they want to go. You see queue and everybody sits there. So you could now say that, okay, as an entrepreneur, how can you leverage on that problem? Come up with an opportunity, then make something for yourself, okay? Another point is that the businessman might not be an entrepreneur. Just as I said before, is a lot more than skill acquisition. Okay? After Obina has learned under Uncle Uche how to sell spare parts, okay? It is until he starts having, he is, he, he is established and he will see there is more to him being an, being, uh, let me say, being an apprentice. Then you see, okay, how to go get this one, how to combine effort, how to market, how to do this one. Then you now realize that, okay, so I was just, I was just an apprentice that time. I didn't know there is a whole lot, there is there are a whole lot in this business. Now it's 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 a lot more than being a businessman, okay. So if you are a business, let me let me use this illustration, okay. Now we need water, and we have people that are selling water, okay. Those people, they will tell you they are businessmen because they are selling water, right? But an entrepreneur goes beyond that. Okay? You want to find a problem. Then go after the problem, find opportunity in the problem, then create something out of it. Anybody can sell pure water, you know? Like, let me say a organizer. Anybody can put pump inside tire, then uh, inflate the tire and all of that. But when we are talking about, why talking about an entrepreneur? It's a whole lot more than being in a business or being a businessman. That's the reason it is not all businessmen that you can call entrepreneur. But it is very difficult to have an entrepreneur that you can call a businessman. You understand? And why? Because when you have an idea, you bury yourself into the idea to make sure that after you have gotten the idea, you conceive the idea. You best the idea, everything that is required that are required to make sure the idea comes to fruition, comes to reality. You put them all in place. It is not you can't you don't get all of that in businesses. Okay. Another point is that entrepreneurs actively engage in daily workings of their just as I said, it's an ideology. You have conceived it, you want to bury yourself into it because it is not all about you being an entrepreneur, like conceiving an idea. You must conceive it. After conceiving it, then you give yourself to making sure that you actualize it. From beginning to the end, you will see an entrepreneur actively involved in his business. You are actively involved in his idea, actively involved in his innovation, actively involved in his creativity. Unlike a businessman, you could have a business and then you will say, okay, like, let's assume that I have like 1,000 bags of water, right? I could get somebody that will be selling for me without me getting myself engaged. I'm just a businessman, by the way. You understand? But being an entrepreneur goes a whole lot. A, a whole, it goes a long more than that. Goes more than that. Okay. Now, when I'm talking about an entrepreneur, is actively involved in the ideology. Another point is that it is characterized by a vision and actively working to turn the vision to reality. Just as, as I said before, it's not about you now having the vision. You must you must work the vision to fission, work it to reality. After you've had the idea, oh yeah, people are staying on queue here. You don't sit down there and be complaining with others. When you, while sitting there, you now look at, okay, what can I do to make things out for, for myself? Okay, now we have this problem of people staying on queue. How can I help? Okay, that, the problem is that we do not have enough sufficient uh, shots coming over. 
okay, how can I get into it? I do not have money to uh, to buy shuttle bus and all of that. Okay, what if I approach this union to get us this, to get us that? Okay, the university will not allow them in. Okay, that means I could I could explore negotiation there. Let me meet with social dean. Let me meet with social director. If it is possible, let me speak with the with the uh, with the vice chancellor. Write officially, write a memo, write proposal, and all of that. So you work the process, you work the vision, you work through it. And at the end of the day, we now realize that there are additional 40 short buses. Then the queue that we usually have before had gone down. Now the buses that you were able to bring in, then you can be having maybe 50, 50 naira, 100 naira from them every day that this is me that brought you on board. So I can be having my own percentage from your, from whatever you guys are making. You understand? You see the process now. You conceive the idea. After conceiving, you walk through the idea to make sure that you actualize the idea. Okay? Those are key issues when it comes to entrepreneurship, when it comes to an entrepreneur. Now, when we are talking about this, the other topic is entrepreneurial mindset. That that has to do with the 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 inner quality, the innate quality of an entrepreneur. What are the things that set him apart? And it is simply put, I can do it mindset. You don't be you don't you don't call yourself an entrepreneur when you are pessimistic. Okay, you don't call yourself an entrepreneur when you are seeing challenges without making effort at solving the challenges. Okay, now when we are talking about entrepreneurial mindset, it has to do with a set of skills that enable you to identify, just as, as we said before, identify. After identifying, you're able to analyze the problem. Then you're able to identify the, the, the opportunity in the problem. You went after how to optimize factors, other factors of production to make something for yourself. And at the end of the day, the product you are coming up with, just as I said before, product does not imply water. It doesn't imply goods. It doesn't imply motto alone. Anything that has economic value that you, 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 you birth as an idea is a product. Okay? So the mindset that you should have as an entrepreneur the innate skill that you should have to make sure that when I started this car, I was able to start it then, I was able to drive it to the final destination. When I conceive this idea, these are the set of skills that I need. Okay, you must have the skill to negotiate. You must have communication skill. You must have financial management skill. You must have this. So those are the set of skills that are required of you to actualize your innovation, to actualize your vision. So when we are talking about entrepreneurial mindset, now we are talking about those sets of skills that will enable you to actualize whatsoever, whatsoever innovation that you have from point A to point Z, right? Now, it's a mental framework characterized by resilience, characterized by doggedness, characterized by innovation, creativity, and all of those things. So your capacity to say that, no, I must succeed here while others are quitting, your capacity to say that, okay, let's approach it from this angle. When there are, they say that there are, there are certain government policies that are, when you say, okay, now let's evolve. Instead of allowing this government policy to kill the business, let's evolve and do it this way. So your capacity to do, to do all of that is what we call an entrepreneurial mindset. Okay? It embodies a belief in one's ability to navigate challenges, capitalize on opportunities, and drive sources in diverse environments. Okay? You see a problem, the skill that you have to analyze the problem, identify opportunities in the problem, analyze the problem, identify opportunities in the problem, then you went ahead, you go ahead to actualize the problem, I mean the, the solution, then make something out for yourself in terms of economic value. So that is what we call an entrepreneurial mindset. Now, there are different components of entrepreneurial mindset, right? Number one, responding to changes. Just as we said that there is nothing that is permanent in life, right? The only thing that is permanent is change, right? So in that sense, there is always a dynamism. The environment is dynamic. The business world is dynamic. The, the world itself is dynamic. Challenges are dynamic. The same way, the same thing applies to us. So, but, your, but your capacity to respond to those challenges is part of what we call we can we can see as a component of an entrepreneur. You can you don't tell me you don't you don't tell me that you are an entrepreneur, and because of a challenge, you are you are going off your concepts. You are going off 
your in initiate in initiative. Now, let me say, for example, okay, now I, I, I have a business that has been thriving, but this government came on board and they now said, yeah, we do not want to see, okay, let me see, let me use this for example, okay? In Faculty of Education, I, I have an idea. People need to eat, but they do not have all the time to go to canteen to eat, that is at the market. Now you come up with an idea that, okay, you are going to have a center, a location over there. Then you're able to establish it, right? Then you started satisfying people's wherever, then you, you are making some money for yourself. But suddenly the school says that every shop should close. You know, that is a change that has come. Now, entrepreneurial mindset. Now, talking about certain skills that you must have must have gotten. So, if you have that doggedness, you're not like, okay, how can I evolve through this challenge? You now look at yourself, okay, what if I develop a mobile app? It is location that I don't have again. They have sent us away. Now, what if I now develop a mobile app? I now advertise the mobile app to people. Now, can, you can download our mobile app. This is our kitchen. On the mobile app, you can make order. When they make order, you now you go X Y Z places to get the meal. You get the meal delivered, and you are making your money. So you see how you were able to navigate through that. That is what we are talking about. It is part of this. It's part of skills that are expected of you as an entrepreneur, and it is part of what a component of entrepreneurial mindset, right? Another point is risk taking, and I put right in front as you are seeing it, calculated risk. When, while I was doing some grading for students in this exam last session, this is one point I was looking out for because as an entrepreneur, it is good for you to take risk. But it is a whole lot more knowledgeable if you are taking a cap if you take a calculated risk. Okay? You shouldn't be afraid of taking calculated risk as an entrepreneur. It is a skill, it's a component of entrepreneurial mindset that you should have. Okay, and as an as an entrepreneur, you must take calculated risk. Another point is motivation, either intrinsic or extrinsic motivation, because you can't give what you know what you do not have, right? So when we are talking about you as an entrepreneur, you should be able to motivate others while you are get you are motivated yourself. Now, motivating others in this sense now it could imply motivating other factors of production. How can you get this? How can you get this? Even when the challenges are down to, when the challenges are enormous, okay? You keep moving. You keep moving until you get, just as we said, that it's not about you starting, but you must make sure that you see from beginning to the end, right? So that is, that's very essential also. Another point is continuous building and development. Like you don't say that you are, you are, you, you've known all. We said that there is dynamism in the system, dynamism in the environment, in the business world, right? So you must give yourself to learning, unlearning, and relearning, okay? You must continue to learn. Personally, you must continue to learn. Professionally, you must continue to learn because you are facing competition. Your competitors might deploy a particular mean, and before you know it, your customers, you see them swap. They swap to, then you get to ask yourself, what can I do to make myself better? Then you read more. You explore more. So that is exactly what we are talking about. You learn to build, you continuously learn, continuously develop yourself. Another point is learning quickly and learning fast. Time is of essence, okay? When you have an idea, you must act fast. And when you see there is a change in the environment, there is a change in maybe in, 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 in the in the guideline, in the protocol, in the in the just the just as an example, the example I gave before. There is the, I have a canteen over the Faculty of Education. Now, there was a policy that says that every, every shop should be closed. I must learn very fast. And you don't learn when you don't have something on your head. That's, it. That's the sense of you reading ahead, getting to, in, in, exposing yourself to more knowledge, exposing yourself to, to innovations, exposing yourself to a whole lot of content. Read more about whatever you have an idea about. Okay, so that when you get yourself, just like they said that, Readers are leaders, right? So when you read more, you know a whole lot. So when there is a challenge, you can easily navigate. Another point is being happy and making mistakes. One thing that is very conversant, that is very paramount in business world or in, in entrepreneurship world is that you must make mistake. But you make the mistake a stepping stone. You see it as an opportunity for you to learn, relearn, and move ahead. Okay? You are not the type that 
because they said that shops should close then boom your business goes off then you are not an entire you are just a businessman right but in a situation where they said shops should close but you're able to navigate your way through it from there you start it was initially uh, uh mama africa shop but suddenly we now saw that on apple apple play store there is a mama africa uh mobile hub people are like ah we are very familiar with this brand then they go online they see the, the same ditches that you have before you they, they can easily make their order and after making the order your plates of soup is still 500 naira online it's still 500 naira they now saw that delivery 50 naira they will pay you understand because you've been able to you, you, you you've been able to navigate through it navigate through it then you are still giving them the same products at the same quantity quantity the same quality as well and they are very familiar with your brand they will pay and with that you now see yourself you are from the mistake from the error from this then you've been able to and it could also be an outright mistake okay you start said this then you realize ah this was an error you don't get back you don't crawl back into your shell and say okay now i'm giving up no as an entrepreneur you keep pushing okay you keep pushing and after pushing then you see yourself moving ahead the last point is working smart efficiency and effectiveness they are very core so it is not it's not about you planning but plan know what to do at the right time all the time okay when challenges come know the next button to press know the right contacts to make you understand we've been able to look at components of entrepreneurial mindset and there are seven basically the first one is responding to changes number two thinking number three motivation number four continuous building and development. Number five, we have been happy about me, making mistakes. Uh, don't, don't forget, I said risk-taking, calculated risk. Number five, six, uh, number six, like working smart and working, doing the right thing at the right time efficiently, all the time. Just as I said before, when you are talking about you have a challenge, you do the right thing at the right time, you don't, you don't, you don't get to be the, the type that procrastinates, right? You, when you see an opportunity, you go all out for it because as you have the opportunity on your head, it's the same idea others have. So when you are talking about you now getting delayed before you know it, others are leveraging on it already. If there is an opportunity, you explore the opportunity right, rightly at the right time, okay? Using the right channel. So we've been able to look at based on components of entrepreneurial mindset. The last one being the learning quickly. But acquisition 21, there are eight Characteristics of entrepreneurial mindset. There are eight. Number one is determination. Persisting despite setbacks. Mind you, this is according to Makoski, they are eight. But we have looked at general ones, general ones that are seven, right? This is according. So in your exam, if it, you are required to give this, you'll be you'll be asked according to, you understand? Then you know which one to give. But if you are asked general, then you know which one, the components, you know which one to go. When we're talking about the characteristics, I am I'm intentionally emphasizing this so that you don't miss it in the examination hall and so that you don't mix it up also when you are doing your reading independently. Now, Marcos Curie said, ask, it, ask, ask them as it's the number one is determination. Like, it, is, it, should be, it should be part of an entrepreneur that you should be resolute, you should be determined. Challenges will come definitely, but you having the mindset that no, no matter what, I will keep moving. That is expected of you. When the opportunities come, when the challenges come, you get yourself you, to, you get you get yourself going despite all the challenges. That's number one. Number two is you stay focused. Stay focused is, is self-explanatory. It's telling you that challenges will come, there will be distractions, like this other businesses will come up. That's uh, that is, at that point, you can see you, the uniqueness of your product also matters. So when we are talking about you now as an entrepreneur, you must come up with a pressure, very authentic. Others will come, but they can't replace the dynamism in your home. They can't replace the authentic, the uniqueness that yours have. They can't replace it. And you are in the business as well. You are evolving. Dynamically, you are evolving. When, when things are, you, are, you are evolving. So that sets you apart. You don't look at the distractions happening here and all of those things. The next one is drive. You must be self-motivated. You must self-driven. Okay? Like this, this is more like nobody needs to drive you. I have, I have, I still have this mindset about your level. And the mindset is the fact that you guys, you want to be pushed before you do some things. Okay? 
Now you like giving excuses. Ah, no, we don't have this land. We don't have this. We want everything to be ready for you. Then I look. Oh, yeah, you and you, the drive is not there yet. Okay, it's, it's still understandable at, at your level. The drive is not there yet. But in a situation where you say that ah, I have only this course. I'm just giving that as an example now. I have GST two zero one, and is this is the only course that I'm, I, I have as F? Okay. And if I fail to pass this course, I will have a spillover. Or I'm, I'm even having a spillover because of only this course. So I'm coming back. So the kind of drive that person will give the course will not be as the same as the one that you are giving it. Okay? I'm just giving that as an example, right? So now that's talking about the drive. So when you have, when you, it has to do with your passion now. When we, when we are talking about an entrepreneur, my course will believe that the characteristics that are expected of you as an entrepreneur, the kind of mindset you find that. It's like I will, I, I, I die. You understand that mindset? That no, I'm gonna see this thing. I've had the idea. It's just like I have a dream, so I will see to dream reality. Okay. I'm motivated to make the idea succeed. So Depend the ability to like and try sources. The next one is decisiveness. Yeah, now decisiveness is in the sense that you know where you are going, you pursue what you need to pursue, and you don't get yourself distracted. No, I'm looking at you. I'm looking at the goal. I'm looking at the target. I know where I'm going. So I'm decided, I'm decisive as to what I want to do, okay? So when this challenge comes, I know where I'm going, okay? Now, making rational decisions very quickly, I understand the values of time and avoiding wasteful actions, okay? So when, 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 when the thing, when you have, just like we said, there are distractions, right? So when it is coming, you just, it's just like, um, and let me use an example of somebody that, that is very hungry, okay? Somebody is hungry. They brought in food. On the food, they now brought... They brought Pepsi, they brought juice, they brought this, they brought this, and they now brought the real food. Okay? For somebody that is hungry, which one will he devour first? Okay? Now, for somebody that is not entirely hungry, which one is first? Okay? You see the, the, the difference now. He will be decisive as, I'm hungry. Leave all this drink for now. Let me eat first. When I'm done, then I can bang, I can some juice, water, or whatever you guys have, okay? Now, comparing that one with somebody that possibly have eaten before, you just need to snap up, okay? You can easily take juice, take two glasses, then it's okay, okay? The next point is the independence. Entrepreneurs are comfortable taking control of their ventures. It is, it is one of the characteristics of an entrepreneur. They don't like to be controlled, okay? They, they see themselves as their own boss. They don't like taking instruction. Okay, that's the reason they see a problem. They go out to make sure they're right and sitting down and waiting for somebody to solve the problem for them. Okay, you you have this sense of independence, this sense that all that I need, all that I need to achieve, all I have them. Okay, you should take control of your environment, take control of your concept, take control of your. Yeah. Point is authenticity. Just as as I said before, demonstrate the uniqueness, the authenticity, how special the speciality of your own idea. Okay. Everybody closed the shop. Everybody closed the shop over there. But I know I, I, I saw a blend. I said, okay, let me let me come up with a mobile hub, right? Now in coming with a mobile hub, that's a unique that's not that's authenticity, that's uniqueness now in its, in itself. So when others are I'm, 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 I'm up, okay, even when they decide to copy whatever tomorrow, people will like it. Mama, okay, I think we used Mama Africa before. It is my Africa, I want okay, because it is it is special possibly for the kind of quality the, the, the meal is, is giving them or whatever. But the point is that the authenticity is there. You must be authentic in whatever you are doing, right? So not that you will be copying this all as much as there is no new thing under the earth, but there is authenticity. You should, they say photocopy is not easy, but people are still doing photocopy. And there is a way you will do photocopy. When you take it, they will say this photocopy, you did it from so-so machine because it is sharp, it is bright. And that means that photocopy is not easy though, but you still did it, or you did it in a special way. So when we are talking about, even if it is not an, an idea that is entirely new, you do it and you do it well, in such a way that they can come see that, okay, this person's brand, I'm very sure you guys at home, when you want to, to, to brush them out, you have your special preference when it comes to toothpaste. Okay, this is the one. And you must have one or two reasons, one or two reasons why you are going for it. The same thing applies to soap. And for our ladies, the same thing applies to cream. The same thing applies to your makeup and all of that. You have preferences. Those preferences, what sets them apart? You know, when you go to the market, even among others, when others are even lesser in, in, in terms of money, 
in terms of cost now when they are of lesser lesser amounts you still go you stick your head to and why why, is, why did you stick your head to it because there is a uniqueness there is an authenticity that you've been able to it may be another point that my home might not be your home okay what i see special might not be what you see special but the point is that there is an authenticity in that idea okay the next point is flexibility you know we talked about being dynamic now so in a situation where there are because we said nothing is permanent in life there will always be a change so you should be the type that can adapt you should be the type that, that can adapt this could be government policy that will come and it will displace you you should be able to swap and you cannot easily swap if you do not have residue of knowledge you've been able to read far wide okay so something better than victimizing the person rather than uh, to fight the person you read more okay which meal can i have to my own you can do a little survey among the students. Which meal would you like to take in the afternoon? Which meal would you like to take in the in the in the evening time? Which meal would you like to take in the afternoon in the morning time? So you take the survey all among the students. So from there, you are able to now see. Okay, this one I think eighty percent shows this. Eighty percent shows. This. So when you go back to your own, you now you you, you pattern your cooking arrangement with respect to what you have been able to gather. Then you will realize that. People that you thought you have lost, they are coming back. That is what we are talking about, being flexible. Changes will come. There will be competition, but you, your capacity to navigate through. That is what we are talking about. The same thing, they say this, the, the, the content is even talking about work. So the ways, your, your flexible ways of navigating competition, okay? That's one of the characteristics that Markowski emphasized. The, time, the next one is test for knowledge. I said that there is no way you can be authentic. There is no way... You, if you don't have knowledge okay you don't you can't give what you don't have so your capacity to read wide your capacity to explore wide your capacity to research wide i will keep using what we can relate with being the canteen i went to uh went to the i realized that mama africa has always asked for selling for him i mean coming to him to 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 her then i get to ask myself okay what's going on what's going on Okay, and I realized that Mama Africa has two or three tales that they are always smiling. Okay, very, very beautiful ladies. And they, you see them all smiling. Guys are going there, guys are going there. Then I was like, okay, and I've been the one doing this myself in my own canteen. Okay, I think I need to evolve. That is what we are talking about. So you must do your research. Do your research, read wide, seek knowledge. If, if it has to do with your meal. What are the ingredients that can have to this? What are the... The same thing applies to business. I, I, I want you to relate to any business, whatever. Relate it. Read wide about it. Whatever. What what doing at all, as they say. What doing well. Okay? Read about this. Read wide about it. So when you, when you come back to... When you come back on your high there, you will do excellently well. Okay? It is part of what Markowski is emphasizing here. That you must have that curiosity. You must have that capacity. You must have that drive to know more. The desire to know more. You, you don't say that. Oh, I've known it all. Before you see, before you know it, people that started yesterday, they will beat. They will beat you up to your business. They will beat you up to your innovation. They will beat you up. To your, you understand this thing? You, you, you keep hearing that this person is the richest man in the country for how many years? For how many years? And why? Because he knows how to. I don't want to say negatively or positively, but he was able. He knows how to navigate the business. Business terrain of Nigeria. He knows how to get into government and get the very best kind of policy, get and by that you see you see what is happening. There are other competitors, but he keeps winning. Okay. The next mean the last one is creativity. Okay. It is creativity that will tell you, okay, instead of me closing up my shop as Professor Nala says shop should close, let me come up with a mobile hub. It's creativity. Okay. It is creativity that will tell you instead of you victimizing Mama Africa. What is she doing that special that I, I'm not doing? Okay, then let me let me get myself into let me also get two or three sales girls. You know that you went to hostess, you get you were able to get yourself fantastic girls that's ever smiling and you are, you are paying them well. In addition to that, you now improve your meal. In the ingredients you improve it. Now, in addition to that, you're able to now rearrange the order of your meal. The one to in the afternoon, in the in the in the morning time and in the evening time. Then, before you know it, you're able to, that's creativity that we're talking about. You possess the ability to be innovative. Think outside the box. Not the idea that, oh, this is the way they do it yesterday, uh, as, as 
as it was done yesterday, today, and forever. No, you shouldn't be the type. When they brought the idea to you, when you say you think through the idea, you should be the type that will ask why. Why not this way? Why? Why not this way? Okay, this is the this is the concept that Markovsky is trying to emphasize. That you must be creative. This is also a mindset that he, he assumes that we should have. Yeah, then we are going to look at it for in this part is entrepreneur ability, opportunity, willingness, skills, and roles. Okay. Then after this, I'll I'll come up with the second part, the video of the remaining topics. Okay. Now, when we are talking about entrepreneurial ability, it basically talk about how to plan, then how to manage. Now, when we are talking about planning now, of course, you know, whoever fails to plan, plan to fail, just the, the way we put it. So when you have a concept, you must put in on pen and paper. Okay, this is the first thing I'm going to do. This is the first thing I'm going to do. I will need this. I will need this. I will need this. I will need this. That is all what we are talking about. Your capacity to analyze, just as, as, as I said before, when we are talking about enter, an, an entrepreneur, he has capacity of seeing the problem, identifying the opportunities, analyzing the problem, then actualizing the opportunities. So when you have seen, you've seen the problem, then you identify opportunities, then you pick your pen, Okay, now for me to be able to achieve bringing more short buses to permanent sites, what do I do? now? Collaboration with NURTW. I'm just giving that as an example. NURTW Abuja branch. Now, a colon. For me to do that, I need to meet, go to their office, meet their chairman, negotiate with their chairman, request for sorting, request for sorting, which day. Which time? Because I, I have arrangement about the amount. Then I, I move to the second one. Now, negotiate with the school authority. Who am I? How am I going to do that? I will meet the student affair. I will meet the vice chancellor. I will meet the DAP. Uh, you you analyze those those people that you are supposed to. Okay, when I meet them, what am I going to tell them? Okay, I need a proposal. Let me come up with. It. So that is planning. You understand? You plan so very well, convincingly. Okay, because you still have the idea of the, right? We are putting it on paper so that when you go all out, you are winning. Okay, now when we are talking about managing now, other factors of production that are required for you actualizing that vision. Entrepreneurially, you should be able to now land. We're talking about capital, about labor. Okay, I will need this person at this number. How, do I, how much am I, am I going to give them? That is what this entrepreneurial ability is talking about. So your capacity, turn those vision, turn them to action now. Actualize your dream. That is entrepreneurial capacity. Okay, ability. Now let's talk. Let's look at what we have in the material. Entrepreneur has seen as leaders have their action aside the issue of creativity, innovation, and risk taking. Entrepreneurs are, are expected to possess the ability to plan and manage projects in order to achieve the entrepreneurial objective. Now, what's the entrepreneurial objective? Now, it is to create economic value out of your concept. It's to create economic value. The economic value and make money. The impact that you want to make on, like when you get to 400 level, you do social entrepreneurship. It could be the impact, the, the social impact that you want to make in the society, right? It could be. But now, in this sense, as an entrepreneur, it is economic value, the financial benefit that you're going to have at the end of the day. So, how, you, how well you're able to plan, how to execute your vision is what this is about. You can still read more. The second has to do with entrepreneur opportunities. This has to do with how you, how you could find opportunities. There are problems, there are challenges, there are chaos, there are chaos, so to say, in the environment. Everybody wants to eat, there is no food. Now they have closed all the shops. That's chaos. That's problem. Now your capacity to find opportunities in that problem is what this place is talking about. Entrepreneurial opportunity. This is an opportunity. It's not just an inter it's just it's, it's not, not just an opportunity. This is for me. Understand? Let's say, for example. Recently, I needed to get, um, I needed to get Augmenting. It's a brand. I was told that Augmenting that we used to get 40,000 or whatever, whatever, has gone as high as 30,000 something. Now, let's go back to the memory lane. Before this administration came on board, they were doing very fine, right? And they were, they, it was a bit cheaper. Then, I got, I have, and I have somebody that is, that works in the, in the, in the company there. Then he filtered me an information that their company is planning to leave Nigeria. That is an information for me. 
it's an opportunity for me and what it is a it's, it's a business opportunity for me right i can then strike balance okay i i'm not i don't just want to order i don't and medicine no okay you guys are living potentially so can we strike business i'll be your sole distributor in nigeria i'll be coming to nigeria now you see opportunity where others are shouting no government is this as an entrepreneur you're able to hit it straight up so now that they have you see everybody's coming to the reality but you've been able to strike the balance that's entrepreneur opportunity that never but when you see an opportunity that are entrepreneur they have economy value that you 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 you, you jump at it that's what is that this place is talking about these are situations where products and services can be sold at a price greater than the cost of their production it's a privilege that you see that are not common let me use that let me use that word it's a price that you see that are not common you have privilege oh yeah they are going to leave and once they leave this this thing was karaoke then with that i was able to strike a decision that i'll be the sole distributor look at dangote look at others like that okay that is the leverage they are having they saw entrepreneur opportunities and they they, they, they jump at it so with that they are able to control the market enter uh, uh, it, it refers to situations or conditions in, in the market or environment where entrepreneurs identify potential avenues to create value through innovative products services or businesses these opportunities arise from various sources, including changes in technology. Just as I said, VC has closed this, then you're able to innovate. Come up with a mobile app. That's an idea. It's an opportunity that you're able to see, then you jump at it. Consumer preferences, you carried out a survey while others are sitting down and they, they kept on cooking rice and beans, cooking rice and beans and pounded yam. But you are going beyond that. You did a survey. From the survey, you were able to see this, see this, see this, and from there, you were able to get the very best. And as you are doing it, what your 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 schedule of cooking is, it it corresponds with people's desire. Who will tell you I need light food? Light food this morning. The only person that says is that man. Then you see everybody going there. It's a privilege, that you get. There are key aspect of entire entrepreneur opportunities that I had here innovation value creation and all that I added them so you could go through them the last one is entrepreneurial skill now this has to do with the potential let me call it it said you should be battle ready when you are a soldier you are an entrepreneur you should be ready potentially to explore now what you don't have you don't you can't give now this is my my explanation when we are talking about you and as, as an entrepreneur you must have read wide. Have some skills to equip yourself. Skills that are simply waiting for manifestation. You are only waiting to explore. You have some competencies. You have some capacities. That's the reason we are in school here. You are in school, not that you have a job. Right? You are in school, not that anybody has, pro has promised you. But you are here equipping yourself with certain skills. Equipping yourself with several skills. So that when you get out there, you will be above a particular killer. So when others are in, you look at yourself, you say, no, I'm above this. So when they say there is an opportunity, I'm qualified. Oh, because she has a degree in this, because she has a degree in this. And because she has this skill, she has that skill. And as you are in school, I'm very sure there are some people that are into one skill or skill acquisition, whatever program, some technical skills, some uh, IT skills and all of that. You are, equipping, you, you are basically equipping yourself with them. So those skills, they could form, they could be parts of what will make you stand out tomorrow. This is what the pattern and that you are to have. Okay? Maybe the, the communication skill, you are learning this now. Maybe financial management skill, you are learning them now. Maybe all of those skills. Okay? Now let's read. It refers to the specific abilities, competencies, and the traits that individuals need to successfully navigate the challenges and opportunities of entrepreneurship. Right? The skills are crucial for identifying business opportunities, launching and managing ventures, and ultimately achieving success in the entrepreneurial journey. Just as I said, that the, you have competitors. Now, it is the set skill that you're able to have. The skill I'm referring to, uh, I'm referring to I'm not talking about how to pump tire. I'm not talking about the skill of how to sell, sell pure water. I'm not talking about the skill of how to sell food in the market. But there are skills, essential skills, that are that that are, that are selling for your you have we all have different ideas different concepts you know skills that okay let's say for, let's say for for example i intend to develop a mobile hub okay 
I intend to actually own a business and I want it to be an e-learning, I mean, uh, e-commerce. What are the skills that I need to have? At least I should, I should have basic knowledge of content, content creation. Now I start equipping myself with it now. I think I should have basic skill of communication. You started teaching, learning it now. I should have this, I should have this, I should have this. So that is what this place is talking about. All those necessary skills, equip yourself with them. This encompasses a broad range of various sets of skills. The technicals, the leadership, the business management skills, and creating creative thinking skills. All those skills, equip yourself with them so that when you eventually launch or when you are launching among competitive markets, you stand out, okay? So you read more, 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 more. So in the second video, I will... And these entrepreneurial skills, I have components of entrepreneurial skills, opportunity recognition, creative innovation, those skills, risk management skills, strategy planning, financial management and how please you can read more about this. And in the second part of this video, I'll I'll go to other topics. Then after going through them, then we can when we see face to face, we just will have discussion, we'll have collaboration, then I just want to have uh feedback from any question that you have and all of that, okay? Thank you very much.